Hi again. So before we move on, I just want to give a real brief introduction to the first project we're going to do. And if you look at this, it's running on my local host right now. It's the basic scaffolder solution pretty much. I made a few changes. What we're going to do is make some kind of course application. So the idea is pretty much that here we're going to list all the courses available and I'm pretty much building this myself anyway. So I'm going to show you how to build this one and uh, you have login, you have sign up and if I click this guy, this is pretty much the stuff that I built myself. In here I've made, I've used Angular, I've used something called Material, which is um, Angular's way to make uh, some great web components. And, and this is what we're going to build. This is our first real project. Now the reason I'm telling you this is that what we see here is pretty much some data being displayed. That's all it is. So what we're going to build in our first Mongo database soon is we're going to try and map the data that we require to make this page. And, and some of the things could be uh, we need some kind of week plan, it seems so. A week plan has some topics and some literature and that's divided into some uh, title maybe and some URLs. Let's figure it out. But And we have a list of week plans for what I call a syllabus. So that's what we need to build. Um, and, and if I press a week plan, I can see even further in here, maybe there's some information about what I should see before a class. I'm going to build some, what we're going to do here is a flipped classroom. So I have some introduction to what you should watch before you come to my classes. And the same when you're online. Um, and, and maybe you shouldn't see this one, but it's in there if you want to see it. But the goal is that we built this together from scratch and we're going to then build on top of it. If you want to do something completely different, that's fine, but this is the starting ground. This is where we're going to begin. And then if you feel like it, you'll build something different because when this guy is up and running, it'll take you like two, three minutes and you're up and running with your own application. Now, I'm not going to spend any more time here. I just wanted to give you an introduction to that we're actually going to build something something real here. And this is, um, this is you see we're jumping, navigating through the system here. We can actually also use these links. This will be me talking, yada yada, I've done some great stuff. I don't want to start that one. But you can see it's actually integrated in here and it's running. So that'll be the first application we'll build. And that is what we're going to try and map inside the Mongo database in a second.